Welcome back, this is Yammer Jack. Today we got Gunslinger Pallet Town Suicide. And uh, I haven't prepared anything for the discussion today. I haven't prepared anything. You know what we can do? We can show off new Terraria stuff. I've, uh, I've made it to hard mode now. Went into T-Edit and I deleted the corruption because it destroyed all of this stuff and then I was scared of my jungle. And uh, I deleted it all. But I got, I, got, like, I got hard mode stuff and I got my seven accessory slots and it's so cool. It's awesome. It's lovely. It's great. I love it. It's your daily, it's your daily Terraria update if you cared. I haven't done much. I don't, um... I don't like corruption in Terraria. Uh, for you guys who don't play Terraria, there is a, uh, a mechanic where you get the corruption. Uh, you spawn the world initially with it in a world in, as like a normal biome. And it doesn't spread, or it does spread, but like really, 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 really slowly. Um, and then once you beat uh, the Wall of Flesh, you progress to hard mode. It spawns in like a, a V shape of a hollow biome, which is kind of a like fairy corruption. It's, it's kind of the same thing, but um, happy instead of death. Except it still kills you. In fact, it kills you even worse. Um, and then uh, on the other side of the V is Corruption. Um, you can convert it with like a spray. It's actually fairly easy to convert your entire world one way or the other to, to whatever you want. Um, not that you would ever want to convert your whole world one way or the other. But it, it's pretty easy to, to go through and like in the end game to go through and get rid of all the Corruption or change Corruption where you want it or Turn it to crimson, or which is a different version of corruption, um, which your world can spawn with instead of corruption. But anyway, uh, or hallow or whatever, you know, you can go ahead and, and change it. It's pretty pretty simple, really. Um, but the the main issue is that uh, the jungle biome can be taken over by the corruption, except when the corruption takes over the jungle biome, it turns all the mud blocks in it into dirt. So when you turn the corruption back, it just goes to like a normal forest because the the jungle is a like a muddy forest basically. So you end up with uh, with a jungle, or you end up with a forest instead of a jungle. And it just deletes your whole jungle, and it's super annoying. Now with how I play uh, Terraria, especially, I do a lot of AFKing and stuff. Once once hard mode hits, I have to like get rid of the corruption, contain it, make sure that it's not going to destroy everything and and everything I love, and then. Uh, and then and only then I can go through and uh, start AFKing, but like priority numero uno is getting rid of the, uh, the danger from the corruption, because once it takes over your jungle, you're dead, you're done, that's it, you can't get your jungle back. I mean, you can, but it's like an enormous amount of work, because you have to go through and like manually replace all the blocks with mud, which is just stupid. Um, so anyway, I opened it up in a map editor and I just deleted the corruption that spawned. I don't care about deleting the hallow because it can't destroy the, the corruption. Or it can't destroy the jungle so I can just fix it in the end game. And uh, I don't mind the initial corruption that spawned. Uh, because I've already contained that. It's just fine. It's it's the like big V that like goes across your entire world. That's just uh, super annoying. So I just deleted it. <laughs> it just... Went into T-Edit and just removed it. Just get rid of it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Um, yeah. I don't know. A lot of people, uh, you know, a lot of people are very averse to, to cheating in games. A lot of people are super averse to it. And I, I understand it. Down you go. I gotta sneeze. A lot of people are super averse to it, and I understand it, you know, you want to play the game the way that it's meant to be played. Um, but for me, I just think it's a dumb, I think it's a bug, personally, you know? When it doesn't uh, do that, and it doesn't, I don't have fun, I don't have fun playing it, so, uh, you know, what I normally end up doing is playing on the world and then, uh, like, make another world where I don't go to hard mode for farms and, and stuff like that, and then kind of have the, uh, the hard mode world for the hard mode resources, but primarily live and, and build the stuff on uh, the pre stuff anyway, on the uh, the non corrupted world. Um, 
or I'll uh, or I'll go to heart or I'll, I'll make a new world and get it set up for for like immediate purification and then go to hard mode and immediately purify the entire thing so that there is no corruption in hard mode but uh it's just, uh, you know, I, was, I wasn't having fun with it, so I just I went in and deleted it this time, you know? I was like, whatever, I'm just, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> no, I don't want to, I was having fun in Terraria right up until I beat hard mode, and then I was like, oh right, like it spawns this giant line of corruption that just messes up your whole world, and I was like, whatever, I'll just cheat it out and I'll have fun, you know? At a certain point, you're, you're cheating kind of... The, the cheating kind of um, takes away some of the fun. You know, like, if I were to be going in there and being like, well, if I can remove the corruption, I may as well, like, you know, go ahead and, and remove the, the, the basic corruption that spawns in the world, too. You know, just get rid of it. You know, hey, I may as well get rid of the Halo, too, while I'm here. I may as well, you know, do this. I may as well do that. No, no, no. You know, at that point, it's like you're getting rid of the, the gameplay, you know? But uh, for, for me, it's just... When, when the corruption has the ability, the capability, to just completely destroy blocks, like not even just convert them, but like delete them, like you just delete mud blocks from the game and create mud dirt blocks, like when, 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 it, when it has that kind of ability, to me I just, nah, I'll have a lot more fun if I just get rid of it, you know, have a lot more fun if I just get rid of it, and so I did, and so I did. And I'm having fun again, you know? I'm having fun again. I'm not gonna... You know, for, for me, uh... So as you, um... Get to hard mode, you're able to break altars, which generate more ore in the world. Like, higher tiers of ores. Um... And then, uh... It also generates a block. Or, like, a couple of blocks, or I don't, I don't know what it, it does. It generates corruption somewhere in your world so that uh, it has, like, a new point to start spreading from. You know, and again, kind of like in a similar vein, I could go through and break a bunch of altars and then go into T-Edit and remove them all, but, you know, it, again, at, at that point, like, I'm making the decision to invite the corruption into my world just because I can get rid of it, you know? It's, it's affecting my decision in that way. It's affecting what I'm going to do in, in a big way. So that I don't do. Instead, I just get all my resources, my uh, hard mode order resources from fishing, which I'd rather do anyway, because I do a lot of fishing. I like fishing in Terraria. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people really don't like it. There's uh, there's a lot of people that don't like fishing. I enjoy it. I, I'm, I'm weird. I don't like lava fishing. Lava fishing takes a lot longer to find anything. Like, not even to find a good thing, but just literally to get a single thing on your line. It takes significantly longer. Let's all participate in a Which for me isn't very fun, you know? Um, but, anyway. I'm in hard mode now. I'm excited to be in hard mode on master mode. Don't have the corruption, but it's, uh, it's, it's otherwise fairly normal. And uh, I'm excited to start doing some master mode stuff or some hard mode stuff you know get the uh, the mech bosses done get the pickaxe axe plantera golem i want to get the moon lord done i want to get the zenith eventually which is like the best weapon in the game apparently and uh yeah i i, I want to get it done and have fun with it eventually i'm excited though i'm having a lot of fun with terraria Having a lot of fun with it. It's a good game. It's a good game. I do have a lot to do, though. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, other stuff. My my to do list, not in Terraria, but just in general. My to do list is uh, just like so long. I have to get the server for the Serenity set up, which has to be done like in the next day or two, really. Um, if uh, I want to get a bot done, like a script to start processing a bunch of messages in the Discord, I have like ah, oh, I have like a couple of games that I promised to work on, and like I want to work on the story, and I have to get some recording done, and I have to do Minecraft and YouTube and RuneScape and ah. I've uh, I've really got myself overloaded at the current moment. Well, not really. I'm not doing it, so I'm not overloaded. But if I start doing it, I probably will be, and then. Uh, Get a lot of anxiety because of that. There's a lot to do. It's it's a big to-do list, you know. 
And all I'm ended up doing is playing Minecraft. <laughs> all I'm doing is, is not Minecraft, Terraria. They're similar, they're similar. I had, uh, had a friend of mine, well not really a friend, an acquaintance who said that they never played uh, Portal Knights before. Portal Knights is, um, I think the best way I could describe Portal Knights is kind of a childish cross between Terraria and Minecraft. Because you get that 3D sort of like creative base building thing, you know? But then you also have that RPG kind of thing and, and having the different weapons that you can unlock and stuff. Uh, like uh, like in Terraria and like bosses to fight and progression and um, uh, all, all that, which is also really cool. But it's not as like in-depth as something like Terraria. There aren't like, you don't go get a minigun and a shot bow and a shotgun and you know, special arrows and all this kind of, no, you get like a bow, or a crossbow, or a throwing, you know, and um, you get a sword, or a mace, or an axe, you get a fireball, a thunderball, or a waterball, or you know, whatever, right, like it's, it's a much more sort of uh, watered down, like, ability set as uh, from from Terraria you know Terraria has so much like so many different spells that do different things and weapons that kind of work different ways and and uh, guns that fire different numbers of bullets at different frequencies and bows that have special effects and like so much stuff um, portal Lights has none of that so it's, it's kind of more of a childish sort of thing not not really as in-depth a little bit easier to, to sink your teeth into I think um, But uh, it's, it's it's still got that base building, it's still got that RPG sort of uh, thing. It's a good game, Portal Knights. I think I uh, I like it. It is it is a more yeah like watered down experience to, to Terraria or even Minecraft. It doesn't have you know uh, any kind of like wiring of any sort. No redstone, no wires, no you know May now. It's got a couple of updates since I last played, but um. I'd, I'd be surprised. It doesn't have like automation or anything really. It's 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 more or less a um I saw the way you took down that flesh pound. Uh it's more or less a Magnifique. Why did I sell my deagle? We'll never know. We'll never know. Uh, it's 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 more of just a survival exploration kind of thing. Time's up. But uh, there is some base building. Anyway, it's a good game. I like it. One of my friends never played. Well, acquaintances, and uh, they never played it. And I was like, "You're crazy," you know. You, I don't. I don't. I don't. I think Portal Knights is probably one of the better, like Minecraft knockoffs. I really do. There's a billion of them out there, and for me, Portal Knights makes the most unique experience. I haven't played all of them, so you know. But uh, I played a lot of them. And Portal Knights, just uh, in my opinion, it makes it makes the most, you know, standout experience for 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 like a Minecraft clone thing. And uh, yeah, get him! It's good though. It's good. It, it's a, it's a little bit short for for me when I when I played. There wasn't enough content really, but there was there was some. No, there's I, I started playing it pretty early actually. Um, I went back not too long ago, like maybe a year or two ago, uh, and I played it a little bit more and, and uh, got to experience some of the new stuff. Like they had like custom islands and stuff, new islands even, and events and, and all all sorts of uh, craziness going on in it, which was uh, cool. But, uh, yeah, it was just, um, I don't know what I was saying. I started playing it early, though. I saw, um, CoStar? I think. 
over. Get back to work. More Zeds mm, I think it was Coastar. I saw Coastar. Yeah, I think it was. I, I saw Coastar playing it forever ago. Um, back when I watched him. I don't anymore. I mean, I don't really watch Twitch anymore. I used to be a, a big Twitch fan. I'm not really anymore. I still like it. I, I think that it's great. I just, for me, I have uh, I have other things to do. You know, I don't have the time really to to sit there for like a couple of hours and watch a Twitch streamer. I wish I did, but I, I, I don't. I have, I have too many other things I want to do. You know, it's like if I had a responsibility to be there, I'd be like, heck yeah, dude. Like, this, this is a great responsibility to have, um, but I don't. So it's like, you know, do what you want or, or do other things you kind of want to do more. Well, I pick the other thing more, you know. It's not often I watch Twitch streams. I watch VODs. I watch VODs on occasion. Um, but uh, again, you know, it, it, it's, it's, I just, I've, uh, I've, I've, you know, found new people that I just enjoy more. You know, and uh, that, that's, 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 that's good enough for the time that I have for, um, ooh, three of them, eh? Hey, not cool, bro. Not cool. Who is this mysterious marksman? We have a big battle coming up. Um, this equipment is an investment. Yeah, I, I found other people that I like more to to watch, more entertaining, in my opinion, and I watch them instead. You know, well, what what else are you supposed to do, right? Like, not do that? I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like if you find somebody you like more, then you, then that's what you do, right? You watch them. There's no, there's no responsibility as a viewer to, uh, to, to stick around at one person, right? There's no responsibility. There's no, yeah, no, no responsibility as a, as a viewer. So I, I watch who I want. So I don't mind. I've, uh, I've, uh, I noticed a couple of people who have, uh, on Twitch and when I was, uh, when I was streaming, and uh, probably it'll happen many times going forward, but uh, people who stopped by and, and watched the stream for a while and were like consistent viewers for a little while and then never saw them again, you know, it doesn't, uh, it, it, uh, it, it, upset is a strong word, but it upsets me on like a uh, numbers level, right? Because I'm like, I want more followers, I want more viewers, I want more all that kind of stuff to grow and, 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 you know, but as a, uh, as, as a person, you know, when, when somebody leaves my stream or doesn't come back or disappears for a while or whatever, I'm like, you know, that's that's okay. <laughs> if, you, if you found something else you'd rather do, then I'm happy for you. I want your I want your numbers, but, you know, there's no responsibility as a viewer to the streamer. There's no responsibility. You know, the responsibility works one way. I have a responsibility to make contents. If I fail that, people will be disappointed. It's not a very big responsibility of mine, but it is still, I am, responsibility for some entertainment of some people on a consistent basis. That is a responsibility of mine, but nobody's, nobody's, you know, nobody's responsibility is to be entertained, right? Anyway, I haven't watched him in a, in a while. I still like him, just, yeah. He's good, though. He, I think he changed his channel a bunch, and I didn't end up, uh, really liking it too much. I think he changed it back at this point, but I was watching him like way back in the day when uh, I was watching him before it was cool. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like and subscribe to see more of the future comedy. See you next time. Bye-bye. Next episode will probably be Ashford Asylum because it's going to pick a random one, which is actually going to be alphabetical, and Ashford Asylum is the first map on the list. No, airship is. Why the hell does it pick Ashford Asylum? If airship...